You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodriguez for Black and White Sports 2. Well, we just talked about this yesterday. Just talked about Dana a little bit yesterday. And he has come out. He's made comments about the raid on President Trump's Mar-a-Lago house. And, of course, as you would expect, Dana White's an unapologetic conservative or Republican capitalist. And he is good friends with Donald Trump. And he called this crap madness. He also pointed out something I think we all know. Shit, you should have raided a bunch of other people's houses. I.E. Hunter Biden. I mean, come on. Let's get real. Outkick. It it shouldn't come as a surprise. UFC President Dana White didn't agree with the FBI's raid on President Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate over whatever they were looking for. White is a longtime supporter of Trump who has appeared at a at campaign rallies and even spoken at the 2020 RNC. But there's a quote from White's press conference this week that should reg- resonate with those with half a brain. Let's check it out. He says it right here. Friends, Donald Trump yep. just had his place raided. I was wondering if you had any thoughts about that. Yeah, um, I, it's... It's madness, man. The, the whole, the whole, the whole world is crazy right now. I, I don't know what to think, and I don't know enough about it, and I haven't talked to him. I've, I've only seen bits and pieces on the news, so I, I don't know exactly what's going on. But um, I'll probably call him in the next couple of days. Wait. I didn't want to call him. Like I'm sure he's, you know, got better fucking things to do than for me to call and say, "Hey, what's going on over there?" Um, but I will talk to him in the next couple of days. Some people have mentioned that we now live in a post-constitutional America or a banana republic. Yeah, it's interesting, man. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to think about any of that stuff. I, I, again, because I don't know enough about it. But, uh, yeah, I can think of about, you know, w- without getting political right now and getting into all this fucking bullshit, but there's 10 other people's houses that probably should have been raided before for his yeah he just comes out and says it he's like look there's 10 other people's houses that should have gotten raided before donald trump's i mean come on and look i understand dana's trying not to weed too far into the waters here but he's saying what he can and the big one is there's 10 other damn houses that should have been raided I mean, let's be real. We have no idea what in the world the FBI and the government's cooking up right now. And I got a um, I got a comment yesterday on the uh, Jorge Masvidal video that where is all the supposed outrage? This was from a leftist. Um, nobody cares or something to that ex- extent. I have never. Out of everything that's happened, even the election, okay, and we won't go into that because this is the wrong platform for it, I cannot think of any one singular event that I can think of, and now there is polling out on this, that has brought conservatives and Republicans together, unlike this thing that just happened we witnessed two nights ago. Every Republican conservative I know, either on YouTube or in my personal life, everybody is livid, outraged, pissed, and cannot wait to get to a voting booth. And I'm going to tell you, I know some moderates that are like, no, this shit wasn't right. 71% of independents came out and said they are very likely to vote Republican because of the events that just happened two nights ago. And I'm going to tell you, how do you win elections? You get the independent vote. Plain and simple. Okay? You get the the middle-of-the-road vote, the independent vote, the more moderate vote. That is how you win elections. Now, who knows how that's going to turn out? 2,000 mules. Um, 
but you get the point. I mean, this was they they said, "Oh, well the left is the left is rallied around Roe versus Wade." Well, you ain't seen nothing. You haven't seen anything yet. And uh, I applaud Dana White. We like Dana White on this channel a lot. I wish he would get the ESPN uh, get away from the ESPN brand. Um, UFC is is right now. ESPN's got that contract, and they just don't align with our our narratives and our philosophies and our morals and our value set in life. And we've seen that from ESPN. And uh, I just hope Dana can find it a home because I don't I don't buy any pay per views because I'm not giving ESPN another dime. I'm not. They do. ESPN is not getting money from me, and I'd love to support Dana more than I outside of watching the stuff that's free. But I'm just not going to purchase anything from ESPN. And I understand they got that contract before they really went off the rails, and I get that. Um, but uh, he is unapologetically unapolog- Republican, capitalist, businessman, and him and Trump are are pretty damn close. Uh, you heard what he said. I need to call him, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to call him up and be like, "What the fuck's going on?" The day of, or or, or the, even the day after, or the couple of days after that happens, I understand. I wouldn't necessarily want to call him either, you know, right off the bat, because my God, he, he was he was pleading the fifth yesterday. The liberals are losing their mind over that, and I mean, all I could think of was Dave Chappelle. In his skit where he's talking about pleading the fifth. I plead the fifth if. I mean, <laughs> if anybody is going to be gangster about pleading the fifth, it's going to be my boy Trump. <laughs> it's plain and simple. I could care less that he pled the fifth. That's what liberals don't get. I don't care. I don't care about that. That didn't bother me in the least. Tell me what you think. Dana White. He just He just wouldn't keep his mouth shut on this. Which is good. Good. Jorge didn't. I'm waiting for Kobe Covington now. Kobe, you're up. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now.